so we're headed west on the county road we're getting close to the private road I came out of Mountain View this morning Mountain View Missouri there's a little white farmhouse that's a pretty good landmark if you're coming from Mountain View anyway uh, you can get here from Willow Springs too from the Mountain View is to the northeast Willow Springs is to the northwest you can get here from West Plains Missouri which is to the south they're all within about oh 15 miles maybe a little less um, but anyway uh, it's the middle of winter we don't have many leaves left on the trees but we just bought these properties out here and I thought this would be a good chance uh, to get out and, and take a video you'll see that the private easement road has not been cleaned up yet at all we literally just bought these the guys haven't even been out here with the tractor to, to mow down the sides of the road but if you've looked at our properties before you know that we like to we like to get things on the market pretty quickly and then we can come in and uh, get the road straightened up we'll have a road contractor come in and, and spruce it up so I'm in a truck right now um, which is no problem here the road turns to the right and we'll be going left onto the private easement road If you were in a car, that would be a pretty rough spot because of the clearance issue. So highly recommended you, you take a truck or an SUV. The property we're about to look at is the most private. It's at the end of the road. So because of that, my little truck is going to be going through some, uh, some thorns and weeds because this road hasn't been mowed for five years. So we'll get the guys right out, <clears throat> right away to mow. And then the road contractor, uh, he isn't one of our guys, so we need to work on his schedule to get him out here, but he will be out here to clean up and straighten up the road. You've seen what we've done on projects before. But luckily in this case, the, our main road contractor is only about 20 miles from here. Uh, so it's, it should be fairly expedient to get him out here. So you get to see the property and the road and everything at its worst. Middle of winter. We just bought it. Hasn't been cleaned up. <laughs> It'll never be a better deal than it is right now, that's for sure. But the guys will be out here to, to spruce this up. It's actually a really solid road. I won't need four-wheel drive at all here, although it has rained in the last couple of days, but it's still, <clears throat> excuse me, still very solid. And we'll be going uh, a little over half a mile on this private road, and the property will be on the right. So if you're an out-of-state owner and uh, security and privacy is a concern, a private road is a really good, uh, really good thing. This is a fantastic area for white-tailed deer and for turkey. A lot of turkey, but specifically this area is known for big, big white-tailed deer. I know several people who hunt out here. We've owned other properties in this area, and everybody who, who deer hunts says it, it's just been phenomenal. Monster deer. Okay, so we should, uh, well, we'll be getting close. You can see there's a lot of mature timber left on this property. Uh, this, this piece, this private piece we're about to see is on the south end of the 160 acres we bought. And I really haven't had the opportunity to, to check out this particular tract other than I did see it from the road. And I know that now we're about to go through this brushy part. And if you were driving a brand new Silverado or Escalade or Expedition, you'd be a little mad at me right now because you can see these, you can see these weeds scraping the side of the truck. Oh, it's a terrible sound. So we'll get the guys out to mow that right away. And that's pretty normal when, when we first buy a property. And obviously, we'll, we'll get that cleaned up. 
but if you're planning an immediate trip out here you probably want to let us know and we'll see if we've mowed this or uh, take a vehicle that that can maybe get a scratch or two without wrecking your whole week okay so I, that's the property on the right there it started a little ways back I'm looking right into the sun, so I know that's not great for pictures or videos. Let's just walk to the west and we'll see what we can see on this deal. Like I mentioned before, uh, we haven't done anything to these properties. We haven't cut in a driveway. We haven't cut in any sites. So you're welcome to bring your own chainsaw and your own weed whacker. You can't cut the mature timber until the property's been paid for in full. But you can easily cut in a nice driveway and a nice building site without having to take out any of the mature timber. Really a weed whacker would get rid of most of this brush. I don't know how far I'll walk, but I'll just kind of kind of head to the west. And see what we can see. Here we've got some big trees. Big mature trees. A lot of mid-sized trees and smaller trees. This has been logged at, at some point, but not for quite a while. There may have been a couple trees taken. Uh, the former owner had a few trees taken two or three years ago. I don't see any signs of that on this tract. But I do see some nice big mature timber. couple of really nice trees right there actually so once this property has been paid for in full you're free to do whatever you want with the timber looking down to the west this looks like kind of a natural kind of a natural bull area <laughs> maybe there was an old pond I'm really not sure but it looks like other than this interesting bowl the property just kind of slopes gradually down as we go west. You're going to find a lot of different areas where you could put a building site or a camping site or just clear a spot uh, for your pickup or your RV. Super private, super peaceful, but not too far out of uh, several good towns. Electric would be, uh, I'm not sure exactly where it is. For sure there would be electric at that house we passed and phone. We get good cell signal out here. I have Verizon. Uh, one of the guys has AT&T, and uh, we were both making calls earlier. It's kind of getting dark on me now. <laughs> but like I said, uh, the fact that we haven't done anything to these properties means they'll never be priced lower than they are right now. It also gives you a good chance to pick exactly where you want your own driveway. You might not want your driveway where we would have put it, and you might not want your building site where we would have put it. Ouch, <laughs> just ran into a tree. Really pretty property. There's a big, big oak right there. Wow, that thing looks like it's 30 inches across at breast height. That's a big tree. So you've got a lot of opportunities on this property to, to build or camp, certainly to hunt if you're into hunting.
nice property, basically level off the road. And then like we saw it, it sloped down gently to the west. Now there's a fresh rub. I mean, this area is just crazy with deer. That's a deer rub right there. And there's the truck. So feel free to come and check this property out. Walk all over the place, get a feel for it. This, uh, this private road actually does continue through onto the neighbor's property, but, um, but he does not have an easement to use it. So it dead ends at the end of what may be your future property. And also when you do make the trip out here, well, there happens to be a tree over the road right now. And that is about the end of of the road. Uh, the guys have, well, there's a tree there with three orange ribbons. That'll kind of show you the south side of the, the properties here. Uh, there's a turnaround spot just before that on the left. So on the east side, and then you don't have to, you don't have to back out this whole way. You can just pull up to this turnaround spot. But anyway, yeah, holy cow, that was a long video. Sorry, everybody. That was 12 minutes. But that is the private, private acreage uh, here in Howell County. The private tract on the south end. Nice property.